this place? Hello everyone, welcome to part 28 of my Let's Play of Sonic Adventure. So, we are in the past as Amy, and we are facing this temple. Actually, that's not where you're supposed to be. I bet you can talk to the townspeople, and they'll give you a hint. But, uh, what you actually need to do is turn around and enter this door right behind you. Yeah, this is pretty much a dick move, if you call it that way. Because they spawn you right there for no reason, when you should be over here. I'm not sure if it's either faulty design, or if they want you to talk to the townspeople to give you a specific hint to go back here. But regardless of such, that's just mean. A lot of first-time players would not would fall for this. Anyways, let's go ahead and meet up our next cutscene. Don't be afraid, you're safe with me. What was that? I wonder if I'm dreaming. Oh my! I need to get out of this place! Alright, so now we have to walk outside the pool area, and we're gonna watch that one cutscene for a fourth time, because four characters are involved in this scene. Where do you think you're going, Amy? You can't get away this easily! Sonic, help! Too late, buddy! I don't need you when I've got this! Gamma! At your service, sir. Dispose of these annoying pests! Give them all you got! Aye, aye, sir. We'll comply. I've got better things to do! Guess I'll let him go then. The A carrier's losing altitude. We're fresh out of time. Take Amy and clear out fast. What about you? I'll nail that Eggman. Can't let him escape. I knew you would save me, Sonic. You're my hero. You okay? It's dangerous here. Don't pay attention. 
something to Eggman anymore. Free yourself, come on! Why are you helping me? I said we'd be friends and I'm returning your favor. Even this birdie wants you to be free. Eggman's not the kind of man you should work for. Amy, come on, let's get going! Until we meet again, Mr. Robot, take care of yourself! minutes later here we are all right so now we're in the mystic ruins and we were going to be on our way to basically the mystic ruins base well actually we're not gonna do that instead we're gonna actually just go ahead and enter this little canoe area behind me well we're gonna enter this canoe area behind me and we're actually gonna go to the egg carrier crash site and uh you might as well do this now than later because if you do it later, then you're gonna see the ending, and uh, you're not gonna get the upgrade any until uh, after post game. And I wanna, I wanna get every single upgrade before I even see the ending. So let's do this right now. So I'm gonna enter the raft, and we're gonna go to the A carrier crash site, and we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, get an upgrade that you can only get when the A carrier is in the ocean. Now, believe it or not, yeah, this is actually the very first time you're actually seeing the egg carrier that is not in the sky. It's actually in the ocean. Believe it or not, the egg carrier is not destroyed. It's actually just... It's actually just disabled. I don't know how that works, but, um... Anyway, so... Apparently, it's not destroyed. It's actually disabled. So, at least you can go there at any point, and it still counts as an adventure field. Anyway, so, in order to get the second upgrade, you must do the whack a mini minigame again. But this time, you must actually perform a lot better than the score you have set over here. So, obviously, now I have to beat what I set last time, which is 2,600 points. And, uh, of course, I decided to use advantage of the... Uh, of the warrior feather and just spin around and get enough points. I have exactly amount enough, but I figured, you know what, let's just get as much as I can. 3,000 is pretty much a good number. I'm gonna stick with it. And booyah, this is where we get ourselves the second upgrade. And also, I'm counting this as one of the two things I'm doing for this episode, of course. We got the long hammer. Here's the long hammer! 
Your attack radius is now increased. Try the spin hammer attack. And by the way, most most first time viewers would not be able to find this upgrade because you didn't know that you can actually do this. Anyway, so the long hammer basically it actually extends the reach of the hammer. It doesn't increase the attack power, it just increases just increases the range. And it's pretty much more noticeable when you use a warrior feather. Which you rarely use anyway. Because like the warrior feather, you use it and then you get dizzy. And leaving basically for open for an attack. And like I don't really see the point of the warrior feather. And the long hammer doesn't seem to increase any attack radius. It only it only increases the length. It also makes a little bit of a clank sound effect every time you land a hit with it as well. So I think like in some way it's made out of titanium, where like the previous hammer's just made out of Pico Pico. I mean, is Pico Pico even a metal? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, but out of that sidetrack out of the way, let's just actually go back to the Mystic Ruins and actually progress further into the plot. And, uh, you'll also actually see why I decide to do this now, than to do it later. Um, upon next time we do Amy's part. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go back to Mystic Ruins, and let's go ahead and look for that Eggman base. By the way, the might as well just go ahead and uh, get this out of the way soon. before I forget about it. I was supposed to save this around, like, I think the second episode of Amy, but I completely forgot about it, so I might as well give her credit right now. So, the actress who played as Amy is Jennifer Dulliard. As an actress for, uh, for Amy, I think she did pretty well. I mean, compared to the uh, four-kid actress, um, uh, that played Amy... I think it's a little bit too high for my taste. I honestly don't like that voice. It sounds like she sounds like Amy. She sounds like Cream the Rabbit, but on crack. I mean, not to be anything mean to her or anything. I think she did well, regardless. But um, I prefer Jennifer Dulliard as Amy, and she sticks around for from this game all the way up to Heroes. Maybe even more than that. And even today's voice actress is a fall right as well. Anyways, so let's go ahead. Here it is, the base. Let's go ahead and investigate. Hmm, I don't remember this bridge. Looks dangerously suspicious. Wanna go? Yeah, this is totally where we're gonna find the bird's parents. Yeah, we're definitely gonna find them here, actually. Anyway, so... Well, here we are, Dr. Eggman's base. Right there is where Dr. Eggman will build his mischievous creations. Such as Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic, which we just passed. Now, to activate this last level of Amy's story, and also Sonic's story as well, you gotta solve this puzzle. And, uh, it isn't bad, no problemo. And, uh, once you activate it once, as long as you don't accidentally reset the entire console, you don't need to do it twice. You only need to do it once for one character. But other than that, yeah. <gasps> Not you again! Oh, for freak's sake, why doesn't this robot leave me alone? Are you kidding me? Eggman got your wish. Why do you still need her? Ugh. Well, anyway, so this robot is not gonna have no for an answer. No matter what, even after the bird's purpose, he still wants him anyway. Well, here's the reason why. Apparently, Zero was also part of the E-Series as well, and... This bird was gonna be 
was inside that robot, only for him to get away. This outraged him so much. So as such, he had to, he needs to go after that bird. And like have him be part of his soul, I guess. But overall, yeah, I'm when you get near the end of Amy's story, you really want to beat him up so bad. Don't worry, you'll see that next time we play with Amy. Anyway, so overall. You hit the switch and an elevator will come down. Sometimes the robot will be following you, but if you happen to like stun him for a long period of time, he won't be able to come to this room. But if he does come to this room, definitely try to hide. Even though he will still his shockwave effect on you and uh he will just like deal some damage off of you. So again, I don't feel like there's a point of hiding. It could be my opinion and I'm just not seeing a real reason why you should be hiding but uh yeah overall this is last of Amy's stages Let's just go ahead and finish this up this room is gonna ruin a ton of speed runs I will say there's five doors and every time you replay this level the door you enter is actually randomized yeah this is a randomizer within an actual Sonic game and I play a ton of randomizers in my day well, specifically Zelda ones, but you get my point. Um, anyway, so every time you actually replay this level, the doors in this room are completely randomized, and especially when you're doing Mission A, that could be a real chore, as any every second will count. Looky here, I got all four wrong answers, and the last door I'm entering is the right answer. That's most likely going to be the case. But yeah, if you're speedrunning this game, this is most likely the room going to be killing your run. But overall, that's Amy for you, and that's Jennifer Juilliard. Figure give her credit now before I forget again. And that's it for Amy. I'll see you guys next time where we do Gamma once again to get the next E-Series robot rescued. And uh, until next time, guys, Marvel for one signing out. Have a fantastic night, and I'll see you legends in the next one.